Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those who do not know me, hi, my name is Claudia, and as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and try on of this month box charm. And oh my gosh, you guys, the box came in so much bigger than the regular ones. So this is how they used to look like. Um, $21 per month, and now it's $25 per month. And once you open it, OMG, they changed the color from the interior. From the interior, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, so it's like a pink, red color. I don't know, like my eyesight, it's like, I no sé, no sé. Está como rosado, rojo, no sé. Una mezcla. Anyways, um, they send you like four to five products. I mean, I don't know if it's now five to six. I don't know, but anyways, um, they send you full products, like full size products. That's crazy and amazing. So basically, um, I did this look using this month Boxer Charm and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. So by the way, for those who are wondering, um, I got variation number four and this is a theme card. They always said a theme card and once you open it up, you have all of the products that you received for this month along with their pricings and also a description to let you know what they're about and what do they do so that's pretty cool so if this is something that you're into and would like to see how I got this look then just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe so the first product that I'm going to be showing you guys is from Dominic Cosmetics it's a Celestial Thunder um, eyeshadow palette and it's so beautiful you guys OMG will you look at that I um, I'm obsessed with the colors. They're so beautiful and I just can't wait to play with them. So let's get into it I just applied some tape on my outer corner. I haven't done this in a while So I'm actually very excited to see how this look is coming turn out So the first um, shade that I'm gonna be using is this shade right here that is called Zero gravity and I'm gonna be using the morphe and 506 brush to start it off Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start from my outer corner and I'm just going to pack that color all over my crease so starting from my outer corner going towards my inner and also what I'm doing is just packing the color I'm not blending whatsoever um, we're gonna get to that soon but, but what I'm trying to do is just pack that color and get it to the color that I desire get it as dark as I can Okay, so once I'm done packing that color in, all that I'm going to do now is just softly blend that color just so that whenever I apply my next shade, there won't be any harsh lines. So the next shade that I will be using is this shade right here that is called Lucid Dreams and I'm just going to apply that on top of the Zero Gravity shade. And the brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe 507 and I'm going to be applying that color in circular motion. I'm actually not really packing that color in i'm just really going to be blending it in with the zero gravity just so that just to add a little bit of color to it Now I'm using the Morphe M505 to blend these two colors together and honestly they're blending out so nice. I'm really liking the palette so far. So now I'm going to be using the shade Black Matter which is this one right here. And I'm actually going to use my finger to apply it first and then I'll go in with the brush. But I think I'm going to use another shade just so that it can pop a little bit more and the shade that I'm going to be using is Eternal Light which is this shade right here. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with my finger. I don't think I'm even going to use a brush for this. And I'm just going to pop that in there. Oh okay, yes. This is really cute. Oh. Okay, so I decided to go in with a flat brush just so that I can perfect this a little bit better. But I really like how these two shades um, look so good combined together. It's so pretty. So now I'm going to go back with the Morphe M506 and I'm going to be using the Zero Gravity again. So I'm just going to apply that shade right here. 
and try to blend that out with those shimmer shades. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other eye off camera, then come back and show you guys the rest of the products that I got in the box. I'm not officially done with the eyes yet. I usually always finish it whenever I'm done with the rest of my face makeup. So stay tuned for that and let's get to the rest of the products that I have in the box. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you guys that this palette retails for $35. So the next thing that I got in the box is from Kypers Beauty. It's an antioxidant dew and glow serum. Um, it says that it was made exclusively for boxer charm and it's $90. That's expensive. And for skin type, it says that it's made for skin desiring a kiss of hydration. Sounds nice. So this is the bottle and I'm just going to apply that in my face. See if it gives me any glow. <laughs> mm. Okay, so it is definitely giving me a glow. Oh, it's so nice. It feels really nice on my skin okay so my face is glowy right now I like that I really do now would I spend $90 on this? no but this, do I think it's pretty cool that I got it in the box? hell yes my face feels really soft right now it feels expensive según yo Anyways, the next thing that I got in the box is from Bega and it's a foundation sample. So basically, um, BoxyCharm is opening up complexion, meaning that in the future they're going to be sending us complexion products um, like foundation, concealers, and in order for them to get your right shade, they're sending out samples just so that you can figure out what best works for you and then you can take a quiz online to let them know so that whenever the time comes, they can send you the right shade. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that I also received their BoxyCharm um, brushes in the box. It looks like this. And it says that it retails for $35, so these two for $35. And it is their two-piece brush set. Um, it says that the large one is for liquids, cream, powders, or mineral products. And the foundation brush, I guess it's this one. Um, has an oval base to help with precise foundation placement and seamless blending. Okay, so I feel like the small one I would normally use it for contour and then the bigger one for foundation. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a bigger brush and I'm going to be using the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation and let's see how that blends out. Okay, so I'm not really a big fan of this brush. It's just, I, I just rather have something a little bit much softer to blend out my foundation. Does it do the job? Yes, but it's just not my preference. It's just too hard. I don't know, I don't... Okay, so the last thing that I would have to say about these two brushes is that I feel like they're a little bit overpriced. $35 for these two. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then show you guys the next product. Okay, so I just finished doing the rest of my face, but before showing you guys the next products, I do want to finish up with my eyes. So I'm going to go back with the Morphe M506 brush, and I'm going to use um, the Zero Gravity shade and apply that under my lash line. Oh, I need a mirror. Oh, oh.
Now I'm gonna use Eternal Light and apply that in my inner corner. Ooh. Really nice. That is such a pretty color. Feeling myself. <laughs> Okay, so my eye look is finally completed. I feel complete now. <laughs> so my next product that I got in the box um, is this Becca highlighter. I wasn't really too happy about the shade that I received, but it's okay. I'll make it work somehow. Um, it looks like this. But honestly, that's okay because the only thing that I really highlight is just my nose. I don't really like to highlight my cheekbones. I just don't really like how it looks on me. I like it on other people, but just not on me. So I just really highlight my nose and my chin and that's it. I mean, mostly my nose. Sometimes I don't even highlight my chin. It really all depends how I'm feeling. So, yeah. I really like how it's coming out on my nose though. It's really pretty. Mm. Also, I also forgot to mention some of the pricings um, for some of these items. So like I said, the Dominique Cosmetics um, palette was $35, the Kypris was $90, Becca Highlighter was $38, the Box of Charm 2-piece brush set is $35, and the last product that I got in the box was this um, Tula Skincare, and it says that it retails for $22, and it says Clear skin, zero irritation, or acne gel contains 2% salicylic acid to clear up acne, prevent breakouts, and brighten, brighten marks left by past acne. So that sounds good. So I will be trying that tonight. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope that you all like this video. Oh, let me add everything up. So now I'm just going to add everything up just so that you can have an idea of how much this box was worth. So I paid $25 and this box was worth... Let me see, 90, 38, 22, and 35. Okay, so this box was worth $220, and that is so cool. I only paid $25 for this box, and it was worth $220, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is a final look. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this look. Like and subscribe to see more. Bye.